Yeah, let's do this. Come on, everybody. This is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. I'm here in my art studio, and I'm going to paint for you guys right here live. One of the best works of art I've done ever. Bam! Like the sound guy. Like that sound guy. Bam, 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 bam. All right, guys, let's do this. So one of the things that, that we're gonna start with is a 16 by 20 canvas right here, okay? Uh, I got my paint. If those of you who haven't seen my, my color palette, uh, it's all right. Don't feel bad. Uh, I have my color palette in, on, on, on YouTube somewhere. Just, uh, just, I'm worth a Google. <laughs> Let's do this. So one of the things that I've been uh, looking into lately is uh, state of mind, right? Like what, what's your state of mind? And the reason I say this is because I've noticed that it means so much, right? It means so much to be in the right state of mind. I mean, it's everything. It's everything. There is, uh, as an artist, right? There is nothing senior to state of mind. Those of you who are like, man, I want to be an artist and blah, blah, blah. I just want to, I just want to tell you guys, look, there is nothing senior to state of mind. Uh, I mean, you can, you can try something else, right? You can be like, like, you know what? I don't care. I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll just work, uh, hard. And it'll happen. Yes, you need to work hard. That's for sure. But ain't nothing happening without the right state of mind. And I had to learn this the hard way. I had to learn this the hard way. So start claiming your state of mind. It's, it's, it's good to start claiming your state of mind. It's a good thing. Start, start telling yourself what state of mind you're, you're going to be in. Uh, I know it's a different concept. I know it's not very popular, but it's a very, very important thing to do. It's a very important step to the artistic process. Start claiming your, your uh, what do they say? Your, yeah, your place, right? Start claiming your place. Start, start. Start talking how you want to behave, you know. This is why I am the world's greatest living artist, right? It's, 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 one of, it's one of the reasons why, right? I call myself the world's greatest living artist. It's because there is a state of mind that I, I go into, right? As I'm the world's greatest living artist, then, I mean, what could go wrong? If you're the world's greatest living artist, what could go wrong, right? If you're the greatest artist in the world, what could go wrong? Nothing could go wrong, right? Everything you have, the, in my case, I have the Midas touch. Whatever I touch is effing gold, right? There is, uh, there's power in that, guys. And you just have to learn how to, how to get it. There's power in that. I'm doing for you guys right here a little belly dancer. Belly dancer. And, you know, it's, it's just really important. It's really important to, to, to realize what, um, realize the discomfort in you to create artwork. Realize, you know, don't, 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 don't really question it unless, unless you're, Unless you must, right? But it's it's very important to realize the discomfort that it comes many times from reaching your goals. There's there's a certain level. I said someone told me there's a book out there called The Resistance. There's a certain level of discomfort associated with that, and I know because because I understand that, right? I understand that in my personal life. There's a certain level of discomfort, and you have to find out what that is in you, right? It might not be. It might not be what you think it is. It might not be at all what you think it is. It might not be, 
It might not be a headache, right? It might not be a a uh, a uh, A B and C whatever, right? It might not be. It might not be at all what you think it is. It could very well be, and I'm almost w willing to 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 uh to bet nine out of ten. It's your resistance. Everybody has a a a, a wall, right? A, a point where they give up. And you have to know what that is so that you can go beyond it and you can and you can go past it. You just have to realize it in yourself. I don't know what it is for you. I have no idea. Everybody's uh everybody's a bit different, but you have to realize that. Maybe you maybe you don't wanna maybe you're at a place right now where you don't wanna show yourself online, right? You think that that there's an artist out there trying to copy your style or or some, you know. So, some of that kind of stuff that, that I had to go through and a lot of artists. A lot of artists, if you want to go to the, to, to the next level, you're going to have to go through that because that's a very uh, common, it's a very common fear amongst artists. I hear that all the time. I went through it when I was younger and, and I see a lot of artists talk about it. Artists are always talking about that kind of thing. So I remember going through that fear years ago, many years ago, right? Going past that. And so I'm thinking if, if you're still, if you're, if you're going through that, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta handle it. You gotta handle it because it's stopping you. You gotta handle that fear because it's stopping you. It's, it's preventing you from, from reaching higher levels of success for you and for your family or for, for whoever, right? Whoever you're, you're, you're taking care of. Are you still taking care of your mom or your dad? I don't know. You have to be able to 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 uh, you have to be able to see what it is for you. I have no idea what it is for you, of course, right? But but we have this. We tend to have this this uh, this resistance, this levels of resistance that that if you don't handle them, they. Uh, they creep up on you. They creep up on you and they, they don't let you uh, reach your capacity, right? You'll have a moment where you're where you're where you're doing great, and then you have a moment where you're where you just don't feel like showing up. And you think it's something else, but it's it's more than likely it's just your your the place where you are, right? Your capacity. It's like going to the gym and being upset because you can't lift. I, I, I talked about this earlier. It's like going to the gym and being upset because you can't lift 200 pounds when, you've, when you are not trained to lift 200 pounds. You know? So you recognize the capacity and then you're like, okay, what do I need to do to, 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 uh, to, to overcome this, right? And then there's, there's certain things. There's certain tricks. There's certain uh, exercises, right? Not necessarily tricks, but there's some ex exercises that you want to do in order to to uh, to go beyond that. You don't want to be stuck there, right? You don't want to be stuck in that in that place. So that's the way I see it. I I, I know not everybody sees it my way, and, and and nobody has to, right? This is just this is me. I know some people are like. Man, I don't need anything. I'm good. I'm good. You're good till you're not. You know, till you start finding out uh, your 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 resistance. Once once you're like, oh man, okay, cool. I'm I'm, I'm ready to exhibit, right? Let's say that you're painting. You're like, I don't need none of that. I'm I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm learning how to paint. I'm I'm good. Uh, then you get to a place where you're like, oh man, I have to, I have to, I w I want to, right? I want to exhibit. Right, and if you haven't handled your fear of talking in public or your fear of talking to strangers, man, you had a hard time with that. I'm telling you, it's gonna creep up on you. I'm not trying to be the, the bearer about news. I'm trying to tell you, hey, look, here's what's coming up ahead. Right, start handling it now because this is what's coming ahead. This is this is uh this is the next stop, right? To put it in those words. So, there we go. And just, you know, at least acknowledge it, right? 
if you're not ready to handle it, acknowledge it. Be like, okay, well, that, I know I have a, a fear of, of public speaking. Okay. Well, now you know, right? Now you know. Man, this is coming up awesome. This is very cool. World's greatest living artist. Yeah. And the crowd goes wild. Yeah. The crowd goes wild. Come up with another brush right now, and then do something like that. And there's our dancer. Our belly dancer. Yeah. It's like she's pointing at someone out there in the close vicinity somewhere. <laughs> in a close vicinity. She's like, hey, let's dance. You know, and that's that's really uh my philosophy, guys. That's my philosophy on, on things. Look, figure out what your what your uh, what your resistance is, figure it out, look at it, because it is the thing that is stopping you from moving forward. It's not how you paint. It's not how you feel about painting. It's not. It's it's guys. I'm I'm I'm, I'm being as 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 honest as possible here. It's how you feel about yourself. It's how you feel about yourself. That's that's the biggest hurdle. It's the biggest thing. It's how you feel. It's how you, what you think of yourself. How you, how you, uh, how you handle your thoughts, right? Because you, you start thinking things and then your thoughts guide your actions, right? Your thoughts guide your actions. Whatever came first, chicken or the egg, your, your, your thoughts guide your actions. So there's different little things you can do, right? There's different little things you can do. For example, I already know that my, Thoughts guide my actions, but there's little things that I do to get myself in the right state of mind. Uh, since since I find sometimes more difficult to be to when when I'm in the wrong state of mind, right? To jump into the right one, what I do is that is that I'll 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 start moving, right? I'll start doing something. I'll start doing physical something physical, so that my so that my um, So that my thoughts, right? I, I sort of I sort of influence my thoughts in a little bit, right? Through action. Just a little bit. Because I know that through action alone, it's not, it's not, it's not, it, it has to be a mixture, right? So I influence my thoughts, right? It's it's sort of like uh, uh I've heard this guy say, look, if you're feeling down, start jumping, start doing a little exercise, start doing something, and then your state of mind changes, right? Tony Robbins talks about this all the time. Uh your state of mind starts changing, right? So, so that was a way to influence your 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 uh, state of mind. Now, in order to stay in that place, right? Now you have to do something more uh, than just uh, than just dance around or jump around or 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 whatever, right? You have to keep it up. You have to keep it up. You have to keep up the the, the momentum and uh, and. Those of you who do affirmations, you have to keep your affirmations. You have to keep that handle because that's really the main, the main reason. It is the main, the main reason why why things become difficult for an artist. I I don't believe it's it's everybody seems to think that it's it's the lack of opportunity. I don't have an agent, and on and on and on and on. And it's it's none of that. It's none of those things. It, it comes down to, to your thoughts. It comes down to how you feel about life, how you feel about yourself. And that's the thing that really begins to influence you. Because how you feel about things, you will act, right? You'll act depending on how you feel. You feel, uh, 
You feel down, you're gonna act down, right? You feel up, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna act in a in a positive way. And then it's like a uh what do they call it? It's a momentum, right? And then you it's it's hard to find out what, what came first, the chicken or the egg, right? Did you did you feel great because you had great thoughts or you know or vice versa? It doesn't matter. What matters is that you are in that state of mind. That's what matters. I'm telling you guys, the freaky thing, if you're not used to it, you 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 wanna get you wanna get uh comfortable with being in a place where um this is my belly dancer. Bam. You want to be comfortable in a place where you are, uh, where there's this comfort. Anyways, that's just me, right? Not everybody can think like me. Not everybody thinks like me. This is just my, my point of view on the matter. I'll leave you guys with that. The name is Jose Trujillo. I'm the world's greatest living artist. Here we go. There's my painting. There's my, my belly dancer. Just something sweet and simple. Just because, right? Why not? There you guys have it. All of my work is, is, uh, is available on my, on my uh, eBay shop, guys. So if you guys want to go check it out, go check it out. Just click on the link on my profile and you guys will see all my awesome work. Bam! Look at that belly. Belly's moving. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Adios.